Okay, so let's um, look here uh, in this lesson at uh, how to find the area between uh, lines. And very often you've got to think on your feet um, as to what type of situation it is. They can vary this um, quite easily and make lots and lots of diagrams look, look very different and yet the ideas are the same. So we want the area between uh, the line y equals 2x squared plus 1 and the line y equals 9. So we're trying to find that area there. Now, we know it's to do with integration. We know it's to do with definite integration because it's that sort of question, areas between curves and lines. However, the basic definite integral, remember, is all about regions underneath a curve and between the x-axis and two vertical lines. So the first thing we note about this is that the area doesn't include the x-axis. So often you'll see a situation like that then, where the area is not um, anything to do with the x-axis, apparently. But of course, very easily, we can make it to do with the x-axis by thinking about this area here. Because the yellow area and the white area make up a rectangle. So the white area, which is the area I'm trying to find, the white equals uh, the rectangle minus the yellow. What do we know about the rectangle? Well, we know that the height is 9, because that's 9 there. By the way, this point here is 1, um, because when x is 0, y is 1. So let's, let's put that in. But do we know what these points are here? And at first sight, we don't. But where do they come from? They come from this line meeting this curve. So I need to solve simultaneously those two equations. And you remember the easy type, when they're both y equals, it's easy. You just simply put both expressions equal to each other. So if we take one off each side, divide by 2, and of course remembering the plus or minus, we get that uh, these two values here, we can now put in what they are, they're minus 2 and plus 2. Which means that uh, our rectangle, let's identify what we're doing here, so the rectangle is 9 by 4 because minus 2 to plus 2 is 4. So the area of the rectangle is 36. Now we want the yellow area. Now that's okay, isn't it? Because this is underneath the graph, so we can do this in the normal way. So that will be the integral from negative 2 to 2 of 2x squared plus 1 dx. If you want to save yourself a little bit of work, just think a bit about the symmetry of what's going on here. The whole area is symmetrical about the y-axis. So the area of the left-hand side is the same as that. So in fact, I could just double the area from 0 to 2. Now I'm not suggesting that you always keep playing around with these, but uh, 0 is a much easier number to substitute in and so it could avoid making a mistake for you. So twice do the integral 2x cubed over 3 plus x between 0 and 2. So that's twice. Put 2 into here gives you 8 times 2, 16 over 3 plus 2 minus, and put naught into here, 
gives you naught. So finally then the answer will be 16 over 3, that's uh, 5 and a third plus 2, which is 7 and a third times 2, 14 and 2 thirds. Now, for goodness sake, don't write that down as the answer because that's not the answer. We've got to now subtract because that's the yellow region here. Remember, let's just identify that that's the yellow region. So to get the final answer, the area required will be the area of the rectangle, which is 36, take away 14 and 2 thirds which is 21 and a third. Okay, so areas between shapes, you may have to think outside the box a little bit. You may have to juggle it around. You may have to introduce an extra shape, in this case a rectangle. Um, sometimes they might put a bit of the area under the graph, uh, underneath the axis rather. Um, so just, just be careful. Notice I've kept it separate, okay? We've done the rectangle separately, we've done the curved bit separately. And write down what you're trying to do. It doesn't hurt to put in an extra line of working. Apart from anything else, it might even get you a, a method mark because you're telling the examiner that you, you really know exactly what to do. And if you make a small numerical mistake in the working, then you could still get uh, a lot of the marks. Okay, so just be a bit careful with this type of question. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.